Hello everyone, this is Chris with Sickerfab. Today I'm going to do this all in one shot. We're going to talk about a few items inside of our 2021 Broncos. Today will be a busy day. I have to register this guy in the state of Florida. Um, so I'm trying to get some stuff done while I'm at home. First, I want you to check out my setup in my four-door Bronco. This is my daily driver. Um, I have my radar detector here. Now, this is a product that we sell on our site. Great for the Lux package vehicles that have the center channel speaker and have uh, these USB ports up here. It's a 12 volt USB to 5 volt RJ11. Now, this fits a lot of the Valentine, Radars, Escort, uh, is it Uniden? Uniden? Those radar detectors uh, as well. So we have them in two different uh, wire sizes. This short like 10 inch cable and one that's uh, about 30 inches, I think. If you go on our website, you can figure that one out. Um, but they've been really popular. I think they've been selling for a wide variety of applications. Um, you can see I have the Dongar right here, which is back in stock. Uh, might be hard to get in there and get a photo of it. Let's see. Yeah, it's right back there. So on mid-level vehicles and Lux packages, you have that auto dimming mirror and you can get this Dongar uh, adapter, which fits right in the middle in line and gives you a USB port. So I am using that USB port in this application for this Nexar dash camera. Just in case, you know, something happens, I have caught uh, an accident on it before. I was able to avoid that accident entirely. Um, vehicle stopped in the middle of the night uh, while we were on our way to an off-road event, uh, smashed into a Tesla. I'm guessing the Tesla probably auto-braked and braked so quickly that the car behind it hit it. But we were able to uh, steer past that one and I got video of it. Thank God it wasn't me. It doesn't look like anyone was hurt other than uh, maybe a few bruised egos and some messed up bumpers. Um, I always run a magnetic mount for my phone right here. This is my personal preference. I have one of our wires from our website. Uh, it's a USB-C to lightning adapter. We also have USB-C to USB-C, but this port seems to charge a lot quicker than the port that actually connects to the radio uh, in this vehicle, so I use that. Now, let's jump over to our other Bronco, which my daughter is using now. Um, so, naturally, I've gotten another car DVR system for her. I just got that set up. Um, it was nice because I realized that, oops, cut the filming on that accidentally. I realized I had already gotten a Dongar installed on this. Now, it was out, uh, out of stock on our website for a little while, but they are definitely in stock. Going to do my best to keep those in stock. I know there were supply chain issues for a while, but I have a USB port connected from our auto dimming our rear mirror to that car DVR. So. It only took me minutes to get it set up. It took me longer to read through the instructions, get connected to that, make sure all the settings were correct. Now, we don't sell the Skosh products on our site. For some reason, my rep hasn't uh, responded to me. I did a lot of work with them on another site. So we have um, a car mount right here, which uses a magnetic plate. Um, I've cleaned this area really well. It has nice, very sticky adhesive, and this mount can bend a little over this uh, contour dash. So I just stuck it between this surface and that right there. Tied the, uh, locked the collar down really tightly. Let's see if I can lock it back down with one hand. Now I have an iPhone 13 Super Mega Max Pro. Um, it's basically as big as you can go. Uh, I have this uh, huge, uh, a gamer case on it uh, because it gets really hot and I transferred my Apple wallet over to it. So to do that I did have to get one of these uh, accessory uh, rings uh, for that MagSafe compatibility to get this back on and then I put the metal plate on the back of the wallet. So this whole setup has to be at least a pound but I'm able to mount it right there this does have a wire guide right here. So my daughter, uh, she should be on wireless CarPlay, but she still runs her wire from the bottom there. If she wanted to, she could run that wire right there. It would just save it so that it wouldn't 
be out of place, it'd be a lot easier to reach than when it is uh, down here. It'd retain that cable. And now, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is our new accessory mount. Uh, this is made out of like ABS plastic. It comes all disassembled, so you'll use three screws to get that rail on, and then you'll use this one screw right here to hook it to the uh, Ford accessory ready uh, threaded piece right here. Um, now this is present on all the Broncos, but if you have the Lux package, you will have a center speaker right here. It does have some little tips. Uh, I'm opting to keep those on. Um, as time progresses and more force pushes down on this, it'll really uh, notch itself pretty well into this trim panel. You can see I've tightened this down pretty well. I didn't use a very strong screwdriver. Uh, you should probably use something with a right angle, maybe a ratchet that you can tighten that down really tight, but there's not really any lateral movement. Now, this comes with the rail uh, and pretty much everything you see here. So if you take the phone mount off, what you essentially have is a GoPro mount right here. Uh, you can use our accessories from our former uh, 3D printed rails. Uh, that'll give you a magnetic mount or another uh, GoPro mount. I don't know if you want to run one inside, one outside as well, but you can also use this for your phone you can see pretty stable there. I can get my phone in there one-handed. Running in landscape mode is kind of weird because you have to browse like this. Now Waze, uh, if you're using it for secondary uh, navigation, uh, it will probably go into a landscape uh, mode really well on those applications. But if you're trying to check your messages, trying to check Facebook, you are kind of in this uh, weird uh, configuration right here. However, since these phones are really, um, really good at doing video now. Uh, it does provide you a nice little platform uh, for taking video uh, while you're off-road. So if you don't want to carry multiple cameras, you don't want to spend that money on a uh, GoPro or something similar, you can just use that. So we are constantly coming out with new accessories for our vehicle. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up what new and what is back in stock um, these are the items that really touch your lives every day especially especially if this is your daily driver um, I love this vehicle uh, my four-door is my daily uh, driver when we get our Raptor I'll probably change over uh, to that we might get rid of the two-door might not there are still some products coming in that are two-door specific uh, just because they have to do something with the exterior of the vehicle in the middle of the vehicle or um, they deal with the top so we might keep this we might not um, please like this video subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not already and hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we're coming out with we always are willing to take your guys's input so if you have any ideas please pass them our way we will um, kind of judge the feasibility of them and judge how popular those options might be and try to get back with you and let you know what we can do. So thanks a lot for watching.